and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. And today, I'm going over all the mud content for the month of April. As you guys know, I usually do this video every month. Now, I don't remember if I did it for the month of March thinking back on it which kind of sucks i always love making this video but tomorrow is the first day of april so i want to drop it today so you guys can get a head start on knowing all the content coming out so we do have confirmed what we know for a fact as always we have one big promo one medium-sized promo and then one content mutt 10 style promo as well as weekly content we have about four things to discuss in today's video guys so if you are looking forward to today's video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on bell boys and as always make sure you give this video a big thumbs up helps out the channel comment down below if you guys need any help with anything or if you have any other content slash promo stuff that you want to add into this comment down below help out the community now guys for the month of april the first thing that we should be receiving will be this friday now we will be getting a special stream this thursday night so that is two day approximately about like 40 50, let's go like 57 hours from now you will be seeing the special stream for the brand new promo now i'm gonna go with that's more than likely path to the draft more than likely don't hold me to that so that is the first promise. I'm going to take you guys over to the Mudhead screen, show you some past the draft stuff, and then slowly start to go over everything else we can be expecting for this month. But this is probably what they will be revealing um, Thursday night. All right, guys, so coming to the path of the draft stuff, I'm not going to hold you guys here too long because we have been through this already, but pretty standard. I've explained this to you guys. It's going to start with players that have been drafted in the past and then slowly work its way up to the actual day of the draft and then the actual draft. The players such as Kyler Murray, uh, the way they're going to rate the new rookies are going to be based on their selection spot. So number one overall, Kyler Murray got a 99. Then we come on all the way down to number, I believe, three, what was he? Third pick, yep, Quentin Williams, 98. Nick Bosa, number two, 98. Coming on down some more. Uh, they're going to be on the next page. I don't want to go down anymore. But as you guys see, it goes down all the way, I believe, to a 90. I think it's low 90s at some point. I know 95s are kind of like when they stop becoming usable. But it's still really, really good. They cannot be powered up, of course, so they are rookies and they don't have power-up cards. EA yeah, could do something where they allow them to get abilities though anyways and get sprinter and stuff to make up for that. Now, what would they be dropping with this promo? Probably some kind of draft pick collectibles to earn the players. Probably some kind of draft night special release. Probably some draft packs on draft night. Probably a special bundle. And guys, as far as the uh, beginning of Paths of the Draft, which would be starting Thursday, if that's when it starts, will probably be undrafted, undrafted master, late round master, hopefully middle round master, and an early round master, as you guys see here. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. We've been through this already. So don't hold you too long, but Chris Harris was on drafted master. Tom Brady was a late round master. Chuck Ben Eric was a early round master. Telvin Smith was a late round master. Cam Newton early round master. Keyshawn Johnson early round master. You guys see there was plenty of them, and they were 99. So will they start finally dropping 99s for this? I don't believe so. I feel like they're gonna go with 98s to start only because this Madden's been a tick behind overall wise everything that Madden 19 was. So they want to they want to keep going with the longevity longevity of the game. Every year Madden progressively we get overall slower and slower. Because back in the day, like Madden 13, we used to get 99 overalls by like the second month. So they're really trying to uh, maintain longevity here. So, I mean, good for them and, you know, keeping the game longer. But moving on to the next thing that we should be seeing in this game simultaneously probably is going to be there's two things here. I'm going to start with the one on the right, which is Color Smash. Now, this would be the Easter promo, which will simultaneously drop with something else. But I'll just I'll go over that in just a moment. Color Smash against self-explanatory. There was two masters last year. There was a defensive Color Smash master and an offense. Now, they did it kind of weird. They did like a, a Nat version and an LTD version. Now, the LTD version was, I believe, this one. And the Nat was like this one over here. I don't really know why they did it like that. It was kind of weird the way they did it. I, I, I could be wrong if that's if it was LTD or not. But I do know there was two of each. They were the same card. Just one of them was like, I'm pretty sure LTD and one wasn't. Now, coming on down, it was pretty self-explanatory. Two masters, a few of the lower guys here. But what I would like to see, and hopefully they could implement, is a Easter egg hunt, which they have done in the past. So I know it's not out of their their realm. Of, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. But just so you guys know, an, an Easter egg hunt would work kind of similar to either a how they did the limited time shoes, or b a, the Christmas present. So I prefer like the Christmas presents where there you can use training or Easter eggs to open a pack that gives you a random Easter egg collectible. Now it could be like a blue Easter egg gives you a pro pack, a blue Easter egg with stripe gives you an all pro pack. A blue with a star is a legend a legend fantasy pack. A golden egg with a star is a legend ultimate legend fantasy pack. Now there's a golden egg that says like one of ten on it, and that egg could be a free ultimate legend, a free gold ticket. There could be so many cool things they could do with it. Now, will they do it? I don't know, but like I said, they have done things like this before in the past, so I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities. But I'm kind of hoping they do go a route like this, which could make Color Smash super, super fun 
for all of us and i think that'd be a really great way to go about it but let's move on to the next thing okay so now the next thing going to be the golden ticket promo now guys shout out to the director awesome youtuber awesome graphic editor awesome video editor make sure to check out his channel you can probably see up there he's the director on twitter i will probably link it down below in the description somewhere awesome guy go sub to his channel go follow him on twitter makes great look at this card art look if you didn't know any better you'd think this is the real card and honestly it probably should be the real card but this is brian burns right here now this isn't what i want to go over i want to go over like calvin free safety so these aren't confirmed stats these are just generated stats by the director but seems pretty realistic this one might actually be a little too overpowered unless they did boost hit power which in that case it could be a little more realistic but as you guys can see the golden ticket promo will be dropping i believe april 9th so that it could literally drop right with the easter promo which is why they'll be together now these cards we're gonna be getting probably two a week for 10 weeks so this will go through to june but we will get the first two well, the first to be really just don't know here we see tight end calvin johnson this is one of the like a lot of these are all confirmed by the way guys the statues aren't confirmed yet but this calvin johnson tight end could be super insane that's kind of what i've been expecting too high speed good catching decent route running well good route running but not not max with low run block that's kind of what i've been expecting from a calvin card as well and here we got zeke exactly what i've been saying for zeke too only he'll get it with chems will get a 99 break tackle he'll max at a 97 speed his truck will probably get to 99 of 99 agility decent carrying and great acceleration so as we move on down rg3 right here now in my opinion rg3 i don't think they're gonna give him that high of a speed i hope they do but i really feel like they're gonna base it off this veteran card in which you'd only probably get like a 92 or 93 speed but this card does look super, super good as well. Again, golden tickets, they'll be dropping two at a time. So it could be the Titan Calvin and a, and a Zeke. Week one, it could be free safety Calvin and Titan Calvin at the same time. I don't know what they're going to end up doing for that. But all we know is that we're not getting all at once. So do not expect all these cards at once. We will be getting a card just like this with similar stats more than likely. And hopefully as cool a card as he ended up doing here. Because this is super, super cool. Like, it just looks crazy if you guys can see it on my i don't know if it looks the same on your screen super realistic looking i really like this card art moving on we have michael vick now guys this michael vick is one of the like i said one of the, one of the best quarterbacks in madden if they do it right where they boost the throw short mid like they did here it will get 99 throw power with sprinter 99 speed with go deep 99 throw deep 99 throw on the run 99 throw under pressure with john madden passing gonna get like a 97 mid uh, medium as well as like a 94 short and if you put west coast on him which would be even better which in my opinion put west coast on him you'll get these up to like a 96 98 96 and that will be 99 just with john madden passing 99 john madden passing 99 again yeah, guys this card will be literally a god like it'll be that good that's why i'm super excited for a guy like michael vick to come out i don't they might hold him to the end because they probably know this would be like the banger card but every year we always, i feel like whenever we have golden tickets vick's always a staple so i don't really mind seeing one of him in these to be quite honest with you guys but that pretty much wraps it up for all the content. We do have Ultimate Legends coming as well, which I have right here real quick to show you guys. We'll probably start getting 99 Ultimate Legends. I'd say about two weeks from now. So I'd say by mid-April, we'll probably receive the first limited time 99 Ultimate Legend. And as well as 98s have already become a staple. They're already a common ground in Ultimate Team. But as far as 99 goes, you guys see here, these stats were pretty insane. We probably will start getting them. Like I said, mid to late April, we'll probably get our first one. And then after that, it's just it's smooth sailing. Everything's going to be 99 after that. More than likely, I don't think we have much longer to avoid the 99 train, especially from Ultimate Legends. I don't know how much longer they could really drag that, but guys, that pretty much is it for the video. Let's go back to the Madden screen. Guys, yeah, so that is better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn that notification boys. Come join the family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out on a daily basis to come support these videos as always. Guys, ton of content coming in April. Kind of excited, like I said, to wrap it up. We got Path to the Draft coming first. Easter promo usually drops the Sunday before Easter. I mean, no, Easter is the second Sunday, so it drops right before that Sunday, which is looking like it's going to be around the 10th. So it could be literally golden tickets and then Easter right after, like back to back days, even on the same day potentially. So that is exactly why it's going to be Path to the Draft, then golden tickets, I think, and then Easter. If more than likely or not, it's going to be a day before. But that's three right there, plus all the Ultimate Legends drop. Plus, we don't know if they end up doing a Code Breaker, which they guys code. They have done a Code Breaker in April before. They have not done any Code Breakers this year, so that would be a perfect time to drop them with the whole quarantine stuff. Hopefully, they end up doing it. I'll probably put that in here too because Code Breakers are a very high possibility. We've been waiting for one all year. Now we have maybe even a Blitz while we're all home, but I don't know if they actually end up doing a Blitz because people aren't going to be spending money right now. Which honestly, I'd prefer they didn't do a Blitz personally, only because I know I'll make people want to spend money that they probably shouldn't be spending right now. But you know, never, you never know with the app. Guys, better for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.